Hi, Visions and Vapor here with a quick note. If your intentions are to take this video and experiment, I take absolutely no responsibility for your decisions. Gasoline is a dangerous product, even if you have, uh, if you have a background for it, it's very dangerous. I take no responsibility for your actions. And also, if you're looking for a quick way to an extremely huge boom in this country, there, here's the way. Look forward to this video. Visions and Vapor. Hi, folks. This is Visions and Vapor, or How to Create Friendly Gasoline. I'm going to tell you all about it today. I got interested in uh, vapor carburetors uh, about a year ago now and decided, oh, I'll buy a little engine and see what it does for us. See if it really does something that uh, I can't explain. And you know what? Here's the engine. Here's what it looks like. And it did actually perform the way I thought it would. Just quickly, that's the reservoir. The engine creates a suction. That's an off and on key. The engine creates a suction, draws the air down through here, stirs the gasoline, creates a vapor. This is, it goes through here. This is a screen. It stops backfires, the danger of backfires. It goes into this T here, mixes a little with the air, boom, into the this carburetor, most of it has been taken apart. There's no liquid in this carburetor. Unless it gets through here, it gets through the screen, and it causes a backfire, and, it, and the screen will stop it at this point. So, let's see if we can start it here. Here we go. Uh, let me give it, give it a chance here. Okay. As you can see, there's the gas. Down through here, stirs the gas, goes up through here, the vapor does. I didn't need a vapor, uh, a way to adjust a vapor. This engine, this particular engine didn't need it. Goes straight in. My idea. Was to create a situation here that it creates more questions. At this point, I said to myself, if this works, I'll try to put it on my pickup. Okay. And right over here is my pickup. And I want to show you very quickly. It took about six months, six weeks, sorry, for this to happen. And I want to get my trusty pointer here. This comes from the gas tank. It tees off here to the new system. This old system hasn't been used in quite some time. Okay. Uh, all this is is a proof of concept. It goes through this line here. As you can see, this is on and that's off. Okay. This is a pressure, uh, pressure reducer for my gasoline. I felt like it could handle that. And this is that same type of process where this goes right before the gasoline. And I've got a leveler there a, for, from an old carburetor. And it levels about right here. Okay, at that point, we go through, and you'll find a little bit of liquid there, which is usual. This I do use for this situation. This is a, a um, three... A, a larger Chevrolet block engine. Let's put it that way. It goes through here, and by the time it gets here, mostly caught, mostly vapor. Okay? At this point, uh, this screen stops a backfire. If gasoline or drops of gasoline get past here and into the carburetor, it'll cause backfires. That's the only way you can get backfires is liquid. It comes over and makes a purposeful down to tr try to trap as much gasoline as we could so it would v vaporize 
And this is a tee-off right here that allows the air mixed with the ga the vapor gasoline goes straight in here. And this is just a bonnet that has a purposeful down motion that's going to be changed eventually. And it will be a little bit better as far as response. Um, at this point, I found that I had a lot of backfires, and I couldn't figure out why. So, what do you do when you have a bad problem and you can't figure it out? You go to a friend. Well, I have this acquaintance I went to, and he listened to me very carefully, and he said, you know, I have this book, this magazine. It's been up there years and years. It has, has dust all over it. You take this magazine, and you tell me what you think. The magazine was a 1953 issue of Cars, The Mystery of the 200-mile-per-gallon Pogue Cabrera. Wow. Let's see what this says. Wasn't sure uh, about this, so I got involved with it, and just briefly... The atomizer goes into a warmer, goes into a sort of a compression ratio and another warmer and back in and then straight down this tube. And that's a butterfly right there. And I'm thinking, well, why can he do this and not have a problem? And I can't. So what did I do? <laughs> this is Charles Nelson Pogue, mystery 200 mile per gallon Pogue carburetor. Now, remember. This book was 1953, okay? This happened, this interview happened in 1933. That's when Pogue put his product on the market, and it performed eloquently as everything I can tell, okay? It actually had this on the drawing board in 1927, so what was the difference between Charles's carburetor and my carburetor? It's the heat in a vacuum. Actually, the, the water from the yeah, you know, I took the water from the heater and put it into uh, the the gasoline with an eighth inch hose, uh, copper tubing, that warmed it up and kept it warm, and actually answered my questions. Now. What does a liquid do? A liquid is 80% efficient. What does that mean? That means that actually 20% gets burned with an old process, uh, with uh, the old carburetors. 80% goes out the exhaust as carbon. And we have had a, a lot of problems, a lot of trouble with that. So we created uh, EPA standards and that kind of thing. The vapor utilizes somewhere between 99.6% of the process. So you can readily see the advantages. Let's see what it hap what happens when we try to start it. Okay. Oh, oh let's see here. Mm. Let's see here. Uh. As you can see, it runs fine. I mixed a little air with it, made it run a little better. This is all proof of concept work. Remember that. This is a backyard scientist doing this. And you can hear, running just quite smoothly. Vapor, no issues. So, what did I find? I found something very interesting, folks. Extremely interesting, and I think the world will enjoy what I'm finding. Because you know what? I am 
closing all the doors. Here we go. I am closing the doors. Would I do that on liquid? Not on your life or mine. So it's been running a little bit. Let's see what it smells like. That's the major thing that I found that was interesting. I can sit here for two or three minutes and it'll smell the same. I've done it. I've sat in here 15 minutes at a time. You know what, folks? It smells like a dryer. Exactly like a dryer. Here's a carbon monoxide. Normally, it would be screaming its head off, saying, danger, danger, you got a problem. As you can see, I haven't start, used the gas liquid in quite a while. The vapor actually turns inside of the engine to steam and cleans out the carbon. You explain that to me. I can't. We've got something going on here, folks. Something very important that I cannot explain to you. Someone with some scientific work behind them has to get with this and create a, a poke type carburetor that will free the world free the world of carbon and get 200 miles to the gallon at the same time now you tell me that won't create a unbelievable economy all you people who are supporting democrats republicans independents i don't care what you are you will create an unbelievable economy if you do this I'll take you out for a drive someday soon. That seems to be working pretty well, you know. You want to create a great economy? And I've got 10 issues in my benefits package that I, you can go to it afterwards or not. I don't really care. I'm doing what I was called to do. That was give a year of your life to make this happen I'll take you on a ride when I get back in the next video please take a moment and go to our wrap up video it shows all the benefits and the goodies that are going to happen if we adopt this product Visions and Vapor signing off